what is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here welcome to another productive vlog productive day in my life i just am drinking my coffee i'm almost done with it but i have a really really busy day ahead of me i need to make my to-do list i need to just do a bunch today so i wanted to vlog and bring you guys along my day so today is tuesday july 14th and yeah i don't work today which is why i'm filming a vlog and i'm also going to be filming another video we need to make my to-do list for today and i'm going to use my notepad today just because i have like a longer list of things that i'm going to be doing so i'm going to go and sit on my desk now because i'm on my bed and i do all my work from my desk i don't know honestly how i managed before without a desk which is crazy because now i literally live in my desk i'm on my desk so many hours of the day just doing work when i'm watching youtube and it's just amazing so i'm gonna go flip around and go on my desk but make sure you are subscribed if you're new here and join the fam and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any more of my videos if you do enjoy this vlog and all my other vlogs make sure you're giving them a huge thumbs up for me and also leaving me comments down below because i respond to all of them and my engagement has been really really great lately so that's also helping my channel grow so i would really really appreciate it if you guys would leave me comments and thumbs up on my videos thank you for anyone who takes time to leave me a comment so let's make our to-do list for today if you guys want to be productive too, I swear you need to make yourself to-do list because it'll help you feel more accountable for everything you want to do. And since it's written down, you're going to see if you didn't get it done. And, you know, it kind of makes me feel at least, like, disappointed when I don't get something done. Like, obviously, it's okay. Don't stress yourself out. But I feel like when you see everything on your list, it makes you want to get them done because seeing when you don't get it done, you're like darn like you know what was I really doing today so I'm just going to use this little pen here this is the paper mate ink joy gel pen I love these pens so much I have like a bunch of colorful pens but today I'm just going to use this one did you notice I've been lost staying up to the break of dawn hoping that you show a little warmth but you know I feel the coldest when I'm wrapped around your face I just finished my to-do list look at how long it is I just wrote literally everything that I want to get done and I can get a lot done in a short amount of time because it's not like gonna take me super long but I just wanted to make sure I wrote down literally everything that I want to do today right now i'm about to update my youtube content like google doc i showed that in another vlog that i'm starting to do that to plan out my youtube content so i actually am going to go in and highlight the ones the videos that i've already done just so i'm keeping track of all the videos and it's really great because I'm actually like sticking to it and every time I go back to update it I usually will write new video ideas as the month progresses anything that I think of so I already filmed my closet clean out which that was my last video so if you haven't seen that video go check it out so I just highlight it in green when it's done and I just write next to it in caps done and Today I'm filming two videos, so I'm filming a vlog and I'm actually soon going to shower, wash my hair, and film how I do like my at-home blowout with my new Revlon, so stay tuned for that video. I'm very excited about it, so that's I need to do that soon. That's also on my list. Baby, you could keep me going, cause you've been everywhere. Let me take up all the love you're showing. Need it more than air, and you know that I've been suffocating. Now I'm actually going to call IKEA because I want to get the mini Alex drawers. I want to get it for this little section in between my bed and my desk because I feel like it'll be perfect um, for extra storage and also it can act kind of like a little um, nightstand for me. Out of my Out 
Well, that was a fail. I don't know why. So basically, this is the one. Why is this so bright? This is the one that I want because it's shorter and I like that it has um, like the smaller drawers and then also these are bigger down here. So I really like this one. And it's on sale right now. It's been on sale for like a minute now. I'm just going to hold off. It's not like necessity like right right now but i kind of wanted to have it before i start the semester because i feel like also if we're going to be online again for the semester it'll be great to have this here for like i said extra storage um just better organization so we'll see i'll keep you guys updated on that so now that we're on my computer i'm actually speaking of like school and everything i'm going to be ordering my new planner for the semester as you guys know every semester I have gotten a new planner and I get mine usually from Target like all the time so I'm going to show you guys the one that I'm going to be getting this year. So I'm going to be getting the Day Designer. This is the weekly, monthly, wire bound, black and white stripe Day Designer 2021. So I'm very excited for this. So I need to go and grab my little Louis Vuitton pouch so I can get my card and order this really quickly. Alright, just got it. I took it off. I have it attached to my keys, but I don't need to bring my whole keys like over here. But I'm also on my list. Um, I have, I wrote down that I want to organize and like clear out this pouch because it's pretty thick. I have a lot of random cards in here. Um, like gift cards for when I had gift cards for stores so I'm gonna like be calling the places to see if there's even money on them and getting rid of it getting rid of any unnecessary stuff because obviously I want this to last really long I got this for Christmas um, my boyfriend got it for me like two years ago or two or three years ago um, it's just the Louis Vuitton little pouch super cute I love it and it does hold a lot, but I don't want to like get it to a point where, you know, it becomes super stretched out. So I need to definitely clear this out. I'm going to go shower, got my towel, going to wash my hair, and then start blow drying it. My hair is now washed i just combed it through and it's always good to let your hair air dry a little bit before you go in and blow dry because or else you're gonna like damage it more it's not good to have it soaking wet so it's good to have it a little bit damp right now i'm about to go have some grapes and then quickly eat something for lunch and then i will start my hair i just threw on this camo shirt just for this video and just some shorts after my shower but my issues are nauseating I don't want to bring you down I just want to be free from the free Feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't want to be the only one with a house key Have something I'm proud of Hi guys, I just finished doing my hair Time to clean up And then what else I need to do oh I need to check the front for a package but let me clean up also my hair is all nice and done so stay tuned for that video I didn't even show you guys but yeah this is my hair I just posted a little story so if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you do it's always linked down below and so I used this little tray that we have to have my tripod on and then I used this little mirror to help me Let's go check for my package. Package secured. Then you're around, but my life is so complicated. I don't want to bring you down. I 
I just want to be free from Okay, my package did arrive. So, I got the Apple Magic Mouse 2. And the reason I ended up getting a mouse was, I don't know if I told you guys. But anyways, um a couple days ago when I went for a walk like um at night, I think I was vlogging that day, I'm not sure. But I was editing before I left and then when I came back, like my mouse on my Mac, I have um, the MacBook Air, the mouse was like perfectly fine, like it was clicking, good, normal, and then when I came back, it was like the mouse pad was stuck almost, and like I was trying to edit and go out like browse on the, on Google and shop online and stuff and I would try to click certain things and it would not click, I don't even know if that makes sense, but I would have to like really either click in the corner a lot to try to get it um because in other spaces like it wasn't working it was so weird and i don't know if it's because like maybe when i was editing like this because i have my hard drive and i was on my bed i don't know if this was leaning on the mouse pad um like i don't know and i don't remember um but i moved it off of it when i went to go for my walk because i closed my laptop so i don't know long story short basically my mouse has just been weird ever since it's been taking a while to actually get me to click what i want to click especially with youtube and school being right around the corner i don't want to have to struggle with being able to click and on the macbook air it's not touch sensitive i wouldn't buy a mouse if it was touch sensitive because i wouldn't need to click really i would just need me to be able to have like the touch to it but this one does not so i decided to get this one and my boyfriend was like get it like he basically was just like you should get it at first i was like no like maybe i'll just like deal with it but he was like you should get it so he encouraged me to just go ahead and get it for myself so i was like you know what fine beautiful oh, I'm not gonna lie okay so the on and off switch is right here and the lightning port is right here Free. Feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me see something to open my eyes don't want to be the only one with the house key have something I'm proud of I wish we were living all right this is so cool so when I go to Bluetooth my mouse is there it tells you the battery level the status well right now it's charging but I'm gonna disconnect and then I can use it wirelessly the AC is very loud, but we ate dinner, and I just came to relax in the living room, change up the scenery a little bit, because I'm like always in my room, I'm always on my desk, so I like to just chill on the couch sometimes and watch um, some YouTube, but I need to actually start editing and importing footage from today's vlog. I've actually gotten into color grading on Final Cut Pro because I don't know I just wanted to like watch tutorials and try to learn how to color grade so that I can kind of input like make my own and then input it into my vlogs so if you know maybe it's on this vlog I might put it on this vlog I've been trying to like play around with it so if there is some sort of color grading on my videos and you guys can tell the difference let me know if you like it I don't know if I'm gonna put it on this vlog or not I have to like still play around with it and see if I officially like it it's still a learning process for me but basically I feel like I just wanted to like you know try something new for my videos give it a different look and a different vibe rather than just what my camera um, settings is on and also like the lighting in my room can sometimes be a little bit dim so with color grading it kind of like fixes it you can change the exposure all that stuff so i will um show you guys like a sample so basically what i did was i went on youtube or googled like how to download an adjustment layer 
for Final Cut Pro and I downloaded it and then I just followed along the direction so you can just use that super simple and so once you have your adjustment layer you lay it on top I already did that and I already created my samples which I put I saved it over here just a couple of them but in order for like it to look good with different clips you need to still adjust the clips because not the like the lighting is not the same in every single clip that I take so it's very like new for me I'm still like playing around with it like I said so I'm gonna show you some examples the difference right this is how it looks this is with one of them this one's a little bit different this one I don't really love that much and then there's this one I really like this one actually but I can still go ahead and go to this side you have your color board I can still adjust some of them to match it to see like to be as perfect as I want so the next thing on my to-do list is to start editing this vlog and also import the footage from my hair video into Final Cut Pro so that I can start editing it tonight and hopefully get it up tomorrow before I go on my walk I'm gonna go for a walk and I need to go drop off my clothing donation from when I cleaned out my closet so I'm going to be donating like a whole bag of clothes so I'm gonna drop that off today as well so this is like the perfect time for me to start editing and also to use my new mount I just got back from my walk and it is face mask time I also need to update you guys on um, I might as well just do it now I was gonna like show you and bring you to my desk but I might as well just say it while I put my face mask on basically I'm going to be returning the mouse that I just received and showed you guys and was super excited about it and I sound like a dummy because I just didn't know but anyways basically I was saying the reason I got it was because my like clicker was not working it was kind of like stuck and like being annoying and I said that, that my Mac didn't have the option of doing the tap to clip, the tap to click, which is false. I didn't even know that my Mac had it until I started using the mouse because I thought that if it was, if I was going to have it on my Mac that it would already allow me to do it, if that makes sense, because of my boyfriend's Mac. That one you can tap and you can also click. And so I thought, okay, if if it's gonna work on mine it would already be like working if I tried it so I'm starting to like edit and like honestly I wanted to like it so much I like it's beautiful it looks really nice um but for editing and like stuff that I do on a daily basis I just didn't feel comfortable and yes you have to get used to certain things but I just didn't like it I feel like it would take me so much longer to like edit my videos and so I was trying to customize because you can customize like the gestures you use on your mouse and also on the pad that like is on the Mac right in the trackpad. So I went to customize and I saw that there was a trackpad option when you go to the Apple system preferences. So I clicked on it and I was like, oh, maybe like there's something wrong with my like sensitivity when I click, maybe something's wrong. And I see that there's a little checkbox that says tap to click and it was off. So I had to turn it on and now I can tap to click. So I was like, then what's the point if I'm able to do this now, like, might as well just get my money back. Because especially if it's going to take me long to get used to, and I wasn't, like, loving it. Like, you know, it takes a while to get used to and stuff. But that's just me being dumb. I should have Googled, like, I don't know, I should have Googled, I guess. But usually I do when something's wrong with something, I'll Google ways around it. But for some reason I did it this time, and I thought, like automatically that I didn't have the touch to click I was so confident in that and I'm here to update you guys that that is false so make sure you go to your system preferences and check it out before you know but it's fine because I can easily return it and get my money back because um it wasn't the cheapest but I really thought I needed it because I do a lot of editing you know call it like my semester's coming up so I was like you know what like I would use it like whatever but it'll just be way faster for me to just 
use now the tap to click and you know it'll just be easier and I don't have to spend money you know I can get my money back so that's my latest update and I'm gonna leave this face mask on for 10 minutes and start editing and I'm gonna return it back to Best Buy on Friday the mouse so I'm going to end off this productive day in my life vlog right here. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And the advice I would give you guys all today in today's advice with Brie is to get up, whatever you're doing, if you have lost motivation to do something or you're feeling super lazy and unmotivated, just get your body up and go to do it. Like my friend, for example, she, you know, she texted me and she was like, oh um how do you stay so motivated to work out and they do that type of stuff when sometimes i do slug off and i'm not perfect with working out but i told her and i wanted to share this with you guys as well sometimes for me it's not even always about having the motivation to do something it's just about me going through the motion and going with the flow and liking how i feel afterwards whether that's with the working out whether that's with getting up and being productive with schoolwork or getting productive being productive with youtube stuff it doesn't have to be just for working out like i'm just using that as an example but sometimes it's not even for me about motivation it's just about going through the motion going through the flow of everything letting everything happen because everything happens for a reason and just trying to like enjoy every bit of it while it's going on so especially for working out sometimes using that example sometimes i don't want to work out but i'll get up and do it get my body going through the motion put on my little workout outfit do my workout and i like the feeling of being sore after and like the feeling of feeling good that i did it and you know it, it was worth it after because i'm gonna see progress so you can apply that to every single thing in your life don't necessarily look for motivation yeah it's great to have like that end goal or something you want to something you want to hit like that motivates you to get there but sometimes it's like it's not even about like being unmotivated you just gotta get up and go through the motions to try to get there so i hope that made sense to you and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me don't forget to subscribe share my channel and leave me comments down below so we can chat because i love chatting with you guys and i will see you guys all in my next video